Hey, how you doing today? Guess what? I am once again on the search for great pie in Arkansas. Today I'm going to be going through South Central Arkansas, not quite Lower Arkansas, but an area that starts at Whitehall and Pine Bluff and goes all the way over to Malvern. So uh, follow along on my adventure. Our first stop today is Whitehall, where we're stopping in at the Hive Cafe. It's a great bakery with amazing sandwiches and cakes, and of course, some extraordinary pies. Now, the pie I'm trying this morning is the pecan pie. And let me tell you what, it's luscious. It's got a great flavor of honey to it. It's uh, not too cloying, not too sweet, but just the right amount of honey and pecans and sweetness to it. Yep, this is a great one. It's going in the book. Our next stop is right here. It's Country Kitchen, which has been around for ages. Good old fashioned classic diner. The Country Kitchen has been around since 1953. It's one of the oldest restaurants in Pine Bluff. It's great for breakfast or lunch. Uh, it was owned by the original folks until 1987 when it was bought by Mark McCool. He's still running the place and it's still offering some fantastic omelets, hamburger steak, a chili cheeseburger to die for, and this homemade lemon icebox pie. Wow, Country Kitchen does some amazing lemon icebox pie. It's a graham cracker crust, it's got a rich lemon custard, it's got a whipped topping and then more crumbs on top. And why is it sweet? But it's very, very good. Next stop is on Hazel Street in Pine Bluff, the oldest bakery in the Arkansas Delta, Lyburn's Bakery. It was opened by Curtis Imogene back in 1940. They had $300 and a ton of enthusiasm, and today their shop makes great donuts and pastries, quiche. It has a great deli, fantastic cakes, and marvelous pies. I love the cinnamon twist and the donuts, and I gotta tell you, you gotta try this coconut meringue. This luscious coconut meringue pie isn't the only pie here to check out today. Take a look at these pecan pies. Oh, wow. From Pine Bluff, it's a short drive to Sheridan, Arkansas, which is due south of Little Rock. Here I'm checking out Uncle Henry's Barbecue. Uncle Henry's is a bit of a mixed bag. It's a farmer's market during the summer, and it always has great barbecue. You can also get some really cool pie, like apple pie or lemon meringue pie. But it's the turtle pie that I needed to check out this day, with some interesting results. There's a lot of people there for barbecue, so I've got my slice of pie to go. In this case, um, a house-made turtle pie. What I didn't realize was they gave me two slices instead of one. So I go to plate it at the back of my car, because, yeah, actually, I do that. I get crazy old plates from here and there and use my scarves as a background for whenever I don't have um, something to shoot on or it's not a great shooting situation at the restaurant. <laughs> Except for this time, I'm standing at the back of the car. It's windy. It's windy, and as soon as I, I put down the scarf and I put down a plate, I pull the pie out of the box and fuck right onto the plate. It is a mess. I realize it's two slices at this point. I very carefully extract it, turn it upright, clean the plate as best as I can, and try to shoot it. Well, the scarf keeps on flipping up on it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> oh. So now I have a messy scarf. It's smacking me in the face. So I'm getting, I'm getting it in my hair, which is part of the kind of wind blowing, and I've got whipped cream in my hair now. However, I didn't even really need to try the pie because by that point it's already in my mouth from my hair getting into my mouth from getting in the pie. <laughs> it's a great pie. It is whipped cream and big chunks of caramel and uh, chocolate and 
pecans and oh, it's phenomenal, but it's a hot mess. I'm just glad I took a couple pictures of the pie while it was still in the case in the restaurant because that's not the size of pie they gave me, but at least it looks a little bit better. From Sheridan, it's on to Prattsville, home of the Whippet Restaurant and Dairy Bar. It was opened in 1966 by the Shop Toss, and it's changed hands to the Holloman family and the Harringtons, the Hendersons, who bought it in February of 1994. They still own this restaurant today. Most people know about the Whippet because they've heard of the fantastic catfish. They also do a great selection of burgers, salads, fried chicken, and of course, you gotta make room for pie. Several varieties are offered at the restaurant, including a marvelous chocolate meringue. Not only can you get whole pie slices, you can get some of those fabulous flywheel pies in a variety of different flavors. got myself a pie, a slice of chocolate pie from the Whippet in Prattsville, as you see right here behind me. Now what do I do with that? Well, whenever I'm done with trying the pie and shooting the pie, well, it's not my favorite, of course, just take and I stick it right in the trunk, in a cooler, I mean, just like that. Now if I ate the entire slice of pie, especially when I'm doing seven or eight or nine or ten restaurants in a day like I am right now, um, it would probably kill me. <laughs> Instead, um, I'm trying a little bite of pie and then saving some for the folks back home. And yes, there are people that are requesting my bit off my slices. My last stop today on this particular trip is in Malvern. Now, because of the after the lunch rush, so many of the restaurants that I could be getting pie at have already closed for the day. So I'm heading to one that I know is open, Jimmy's Family Restaurant. Now, Jimmy's is unusual, not only because it serves great fried chicken and pie, but it also serves donuts. While there are many pies in the case, not all of them are homemade. However, the coconut cream pie absolutely is, and it is marvelous. But it's not the only pie that I'm trying while I'm here at Jimmy's. Most of the pies that I find on my journeys are sweet pies, but at Jimmy's, you can get a chicken pot pie made with chicken roasted right on site. Look at that white meat. So here's the thing, what I do is I find the restaurant, I do the research online, and then I actually go and visit. These restaurants usually have no clue that I'm coming. They don't know what it is I do. Some of them don't have a clue who I am, and that's, that's perfect. Because what I want to bring to you is the exact pie, the exact slice that you're going to get. That's plenty of pies for one day, but there's so many other great pies to find in the state of Arkansas. I'm out there looking right now, and I need your help. If you have a suggestion for a great pie place I should be checking out, please leave it in the comments below, or send me a message at cat at tiedietravels.com. While you're waiting, you might as well check out Tide Eye Travels. There are 1,100 plus articles on everything from food in Arkansas to travel all over the Mid-South and beyond in this great news magazine online. I'm Cat Robinson. Eat calm and eat high.